there's a pretty good chance that if you found this video, you might just be new to WordPress, have a brand new site just waiting to get started, and are looking for a really quick and easy way to install a WordPress plugin. Well, you're in luck, because in this video, we're gonna go step by step through three straightforward ways to install a WordPress plugin on your site to get you up and running. Better still, we'll start with the easiest method first, which is installing a plugin from the WordPress directory. Let's jump right in. The first thing we need to do after logging into the admin area of our WordPress site is go to the plugins directory. To access the directory, all we need to do is head to the plugins menu item here on the left of the admin area. If you hover over that, you'll see an option called add new. Click on that. This is the WordPress plugin directory and it gives you access to over 55,000 free plugins that can help you build the site you want. What we're going to do is install a contact form plugin because pretty much every site needs a contact form and there is no better contact form plugin than WP Forms. It's free to install, very easy to use, and gives you lots of options to build on as your site grows. All we need to do is search for WP Forms in the search bar on the right of the screen. This is the plugin we want right here, so we'll click and install. The plugin will now install, and then you can activate by clicking on this button. We now have WP Forms installed on our site and it is ready to take us through a very quick process to help us add our first contact form. The method we have just used to install a plugin on our site is by far the easiest of the three methods, but only works for the free plugins in the WordPress directory. The next method covers plugins that you may have purchased and downloaded from a website. We will now look at how to upload and install that plugin. Let's go back to the WordPress admin area and head to plugins and then click add new. Instead of searching for the plugin in the directory, we are going to upload the zip file we have on our computer. So if we go to the upload plugin button at the top of the screen and click that, we now get the option to select the file we want to upload. You can either click the choose file button and navigate to the zip file you need, or drag and drop the zip file if you have it ready. I have it ready, so I'll do that. All you do then is click install now. It will show the installation screen, and once it's installed, it will give you the option to activate or go back to the plugin directory screen where you can install more plugins. If you happen to move away from this screen before activating the plugin you just uploaded and you're wondering where it's gone, click on plugins in the admin menu. This then takes you to the plugins area. This is where you can manage all the plugins you install on your site with the options to activate, deactivate and delete plugins from one place. Here we can activate the plugin we just installed and then it will take us through the next steps for that plugin. In some situations, it may not be possible to upload your plugin using the second method. This is where the third method comes in, and it's pretty similar to method two. We will just upload outside of the WordPress dashboard and work with an FTP client. There are many great FTP clients out there, but for this video, I'll be using FileZilla. If you are new to FTP, then be sure to check out our awesome video on getting set up with an FTP client. The link to that video is in the description. Give it a watch and then meet me back here. To get set up, make sure you unzip the plugin file on your computer. To do that, find your zip file, right click on it and open or extract the contents with the tool that is available to you. Once your file is unzipped, you should be able to see the contents of the folder with its subfolders and files. Next, connect your site using your FTP client. The folder we're looking for is the plugins folder. So we first need to go to the public HTML folder and then into the WP content folder. You can now see the plugins and themes folders here. Double click on the plugins folder. We should see the plugins we currently have installed on the site. We now need to have our unzipped plugin folder in the left hand part of the screen. We can then right click on it and select upload and that will start transferring the folder to the plugins area of the website. After that has finished, head back to your WordPress dashboard and hover over the plugins menu item. Click on install plugins and you will now see that plugin is available and ready to be activated. There we have three quick and easy ways to install a WordPress plugin on your website. I really hope this video has helped you out and if you're unsure about what the best plugins are for your site, then check the links in the description as we have a load of videos to help you out. If you're thinking about putting a contact form on your website, Take a look at this fantastic video that takes you through setting up a contact form with WP Forms.